This is the anchor for, this is the west anchor for Shui Shui, 63 meter high line, I think. Four points coming up to a master point, a uh, double master point, going to a, uh, looks like we needed to extend the anchor point here a bit. Um, it seems like the, the whoopies were not long enough, so we might need longer than 3.4 meter whoopies next year. Um, these lines are coming up through a redirect, and we had, I guess, quite a bit of problems with these stakes in the ground. You can see there's a lot of holes there for the stakes that got pulled out before. They ended up doing a cross pattern with these stakes. Um, last year we had to do a cross pattern as well, I think. Let's see how it is on the video, but I think the stakes were... The stake that went this way was a little bit further that way, and the stake that went this way was further that way. And so they actually, uh, um, the bottom of the stake didn't, uh, weren't, weren't too near each other. Um, but it's redirected and it looks really nice here. So the reason for the redirection is to put a bit more tension on the feet, to keep the feet firmly placed. Um, we come up to these uh, opposing direction whoopee slings to the... Uh, to this uh, hang point here, the hang shackle is pretty highly loaded for this for this uh, the mainline shackle. Coming up to the weblock here, uh, EQB bandit weblock, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it seems like the webbing on this has gotten pretty. Yeah, that's pretty rock solid there. Um, lots of slippage in this weblock. We've been every day having the riggers. Uh, retie these and, and loosen them up so that they're not so heavily loaded and uh, I guess um, it's already had enough action today get, to get tension again. The backup uh, shackle, the backup um, line is tied off with a doubled over figure eight and uh, that's hanging there nicely. That tail of that comes to a independent line that's tied all the way back to the master point, uh, independent rope the and as is the uh the tail of the mainline webbing um the hang frame slings are nicely loaded uh it looks like everything's pretty pretty good here the angle of the hang frame seems to have stayed nice and consistent throughout the week here it seems that the uh yeah, that these hang frames have not really moved forward all that much. Unlike last year where we had a lot of rain and the hang frame feet sank down in the soil and, and ended up causing the hang frames to tilt a little bit forward. Um, looks, like a, looks like a good line. Oh, and uh, back here at these uh, bolts, we last year had a, uh, a board going across the bolts down here uh, uh, where they, the ropes were and also a, a, a nice big uh, piece of rug here that uh, protected all of this because of course if uh, if a really heavy rock falls and especially if it's struck really close to the to the bolt there um, it could pretty easily cut this under the amount of tension it's at it's actually not all that tight but you know there's no reason not to not, not to protect that so there we go